Hi, I'm Jada Pasquale, registered nurse here at the Nova Center. And I'm David Dombrowski, the center director here at Novus. Today we're talking about what not to do and what treatments to avoid if you have Peyronie's disease. If you're watching this, you probably already know what Peyronie's disease is. But just to recap, Peyronie's disease is a fibrous scar tissue inside the penis that is causing that curvature and it sometimes can be painful. Peyronie's disease can be caused by repeated penile injury, oftentimes from sexual injury or physical injury. If you've done any research at all, you probably already know that shockwave therapy, or also known as acoustic wave therapy, can help correct your Peyronie's disease with no side effects. We've covered how and why in this video. Acoustic wave therapy has been shown to safely break down the scar tissue causing Peyronie's disease, correcting the problem without any negative side effects. So as a disclaimer, acoustic wave therapy for treating Peyronie's is not FDA approved yet. But as a non-invasive treatment protocol for Peyronie's, we've successfully treated hundreds of our own patients. We've linked the published research supporting this treatment down below. There are different treatments for Peyronie's disease besides acoustic wave therapy. I have personally talked to hundreds of patients who have undergone many of these therapies, oftentimes with irreversible side effects, that they were not aware of prior to doing treatment. Unfortunately, many of the published clinical studies for these additional treatment options don't always list those side effects. So please pay attention. Zyflex, also known as collagenase clostridium thysolyticum, is the FDA-approved treatment for Peyronie's disease. Here's how it works. Zyflex is an enzyme injected into the penis to gradually weaken and break down the scar tissue in hopes to reduce the curvature. I've had many patients come into the clinic after having several Zyflex injections, oftentimes in the wrong areas. Many patients claim losing inches off their penis after having Zyflex injections. So if you are someone who is dealing with Peyronie's disease and you're considering treatment options, please make sure that you do get a second opinion if you're considering Zyflex. Find a provider who does acoustic wave therapy, for example, to make sure that you're getting all the information to make the best decision for you. Another treatment option for Peyronie's is surgery. And if there's any guy considering having surgery done, please make sure that it is your last option. I encourage anyone who's considering having it done to Google it. The images are pretty alarming. They do cut the skin, remove all the skin to expose the insides, scoop out the scar tissue. Oftentimes they put a graft in there because the scar tissue is so immense that they're removing. And then of course they try to put it back together. Surgery causes scar tissue and you're trying to get rid of scar tissue to begin with. There's risks for surgery. So it is a high risk, very invasive option. And if there's a choice that is non-invasive and could avoid surgery, I don't know a guy on the planet that would choose surgery over that other option. Also, there are these medieval looking extension devices. These are meant to correct your curvature, but there have been no evidence of it removing or helping your scar tissue, which is the root cause of Peyronie's disease. And none of our patients have found long-term success with these devices. So if you are considering doing Zyaflex or having surgery, we strongly recommend that you get a second opinion, ideally from a provider that doesn't do Zyaflex or surgery as their main treatment options for Peyronie's. If you have any questions, please list them in the comments below or reach out to us on our website. We've linked clinical studies in the description below and we hope this helps.